All right. So, um, good day. It's third day, fourth day, <laughs> third day, um, full moon in Aries. And uh, I tried to come out yesterday um, because it was a very interesting day. And um, I got blocked and rejected because I had music on. And I had music on my first video, and that video got blocked too because I'm just learning this thing. <laughs> And I didn't know YouTube won't let you do the music thing. But, um, so I just wanted to come out today and share a little bit. It's kind of a tough subject, so we'll see, um, where Holy Spirit takes it. But, you know, we're in serious times. It's times for, um, a real shift and, um, uh, real change, um, where so now we have to make serious choices you know um, there is a righteous way there is a christ conscious way there's a righteous way and um, some of us have been called and assigned to um, take front line and um, move forward no matter what um, we are struggling with our battles within because it's important for us to um, be true, be sincere, be love, keep here and be real, but be right, you know, and um, do the right thing. And um, of course, that brings on lots of attacks um, against our spirit, lots of tr triggers, you know, some of them just like your little brother or sister just doing this to you, and some are like, beating you in the head and then there's another um, extremely um, dark side um, uh, the side of possession that the, the demonic side that has taken over um, a person and there's different ways that folks describe it and all of that but simple terms it's possession and you know, I used to hear it, and you know, you know, I saw the movie Exorcist, and you know that sort of thing. But I had never, because I wasn't raised in you know the church building, and um, so you know, I. I <laughs> you know, crazy is just crazy, but there's another level of crazy that I had not, um, I had not experienced until, um, 2005, I went to a conference in, um, in Florida, and, uh, it was a religious conference, and my mother had just passed away a few months earlier, and, um, there was this woman, it was highly spirited, I was very, um, I was having these spiritual experiences that were life changing, um, it was the first time God had com taken completely, taken me completely over, um, I was in worship and the Holy Spirit just took, um, took me over folks had to carry me to my room and I I went there alone and I was by myself the whole time I don't know who the people were um, they carried me up to my room and I remember going to the bathroom and my eyes were like fire blazing just you know like that so I was having these experiences but there was this woman and um, she was extremely, extremely beautiful that would come in and sit around me. Um, she kind of looked like um, like a dark vanity. Vanity from the singer Vanity who passed away who, um, from, I don't know, with, with Prince. Vanity Six, is it? It's been a long time. But um, Prince's ex-girlfriend. Uh, but, um, so she had that look and vibration on her, but, um, and she, she wear the Indian garb. I um, mean, she was extremely beautiful, magically just, you know, beautiful. And she kept, she was 
was seduction. It was her spirit was seducing me, and I, because I was just being pulled. You know, like I'm listening, and all of a sudden I find myself, you know, looking over there, or something's pulling on me, and then I look over there, and she's she's there. Or if I didn't see her walk in the room or even sit down, it was like I'd look over and there she was. It was she was doing that, and um, so the end. It was like a three-day conference, four-day conference. The end of the conference, um, God spoke to me and He said, "I want you to walk down to the altar and lay down." And um, it was during a break time. Folks were just kind of talking. There wasn't anything going on stage, but I knew I had to be focused and I knew I had to be obedient because I heard the word. I was like, wow, okay. I'm by myself. Um, I traveled there by myself, like I said. And I, um, so I got up and I started walking because I was in the back of the stadium like so I felt like a long ways to walk not a long long way but you know it was a little ways to walk down the aisle and I started walking and all of a sudden I heard this this crazy noise I almost said a bad word it was that crazy it was wild crazy as heck and, but I could not turn around because Holy Ghost is, is with me now you know it's like we're going to the altar and uh, so I'm walking stay focused get to the altar it gets louder and louder now it's screaming and now it's like even like a manly it's doing all this kind of stuff like what the heck is that but I had to keep moving I never looked back so it was that spirit and then there was this religious spirit which and I say that to say that there were two things vexing me and there was also power in the house you know that was handling that thing but it was this and then there were this, these people screaming and hollering and rebuking her um, and didn't have they, they didn't have the power and so it was like a riot these two things and then um, but I still could not look back I have no idea what's going on I just you know basically said it because when I went down to lay down on the ground I went on my knees first of course it's like coming towards me so I'm still going down because I'm in the spirit and I'm going down to lay down and I look back really to make sure that thing was <laughs> getting ready to attack me but I'm going to lay down and I look to the side because it's getting ready to run and it is this woman and it's been completely demonic possession her whole face is contorted her clothes like I said I don't know what they were doing back there to her because her, her dress is all torn off her shoe heel is broken and that she that thing slams her in because it was a high stage slams everybody in the stage like a rag doll bam and so I'm still going I go all the way down on the ground but I see all of this and I'm like oh my god and there were two guys there standing to catch her and I went wow this thing is real this is some real real holy feel stuff going on <laughs> and I laugh because you will learn the whole get down about that I mean it's brand new for me I'm like what <laughs> and God has me He's got me completely taken over. So, uh, I'm with him. He's with me. And this stuff is jumping off around me. But, you know, I say that to say that is real. And right now, we are 
truly going into next level, next dimension. It's a new day, for real. And for some of us, the calling is It's great. And if I can put it in layman's terms, it's really like the Terminator. You're carrying a baby inside of you that is meant for a high, you can call it Terminator, Matrix, that sort of thing. I mean, we're all there, but there are truly some of us who are on a front line. And, um,. You know who you are. And it's time for us to be really focused. And in alignment with God. Because everything is against it. Even those that are close to us. Some of us. Some of them are brothers and sisters. And mamas and daddies. And husbands. And folks close. Sometimes the possession is great. Like that was, that was demonic. You got the, the demons, you know, that lifestyle has allowed the possession. And so you're going to find them doing this to you. Egos. Then there's things in us and our thing that we're trying to, behaviors in our own thing. So, that thing right there is really our mirror looking in our face change that thing that you don't like in him or her change that thing in you oh god it's correction time Clean up time. Christ consciousness. The right way. Doing things the right way. So if you find yourself in a group and you look around, it's like nothing is comfortable about it. And you're fighting and wondering why nobody is telling the truth, can't stand the truth. And vexed by the truth run 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 far 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 away <laughs> run away and pray and pray for their souls and hopefully they'll meet you somewhere up there but you got to keep walking don't look around don't look to the left or the right certainly don't look behind you you got to keep going straight ahead it's mandatory. <laughs> it's real. We got things to do. You know, I say something's gonna go down. Um, a shift. And this shift. And when I look around me, you know, there's a whole bunch of folks.